Hi friends, it's Lisa Van Gammer with some more PowerPoint tips for you. Now today I'm going to share some of my favorite text box tricks that I think every teacher needs to know. Even if you're not a teacher, you can still use them. These are just the things that save me so much time. Okay, the first one is how to make a text box look like you want it every time. So when I insert a text box the first time, and unless I change it every time, Microsoft assumes that I want whatever their default font is, whatever the default font size is, and the default color. Usually this is gonna be Calibri 18 size font in black. But let's say that what I really want is a font called McLaren, which I love, it's a free Google font. And let's say I actually want it to be 48.2, in size, I don't know if you knew, you can make, make the font size decimals. And let's say I actually want it to be a different color. Now maybe I wanna choose one of these, or maybe I wanna choose a purple color. So every time I type in a text box, I really want it to look like this. So normally what I would do is like, I would insert text box and I'd have to start all over right? It, it's going to default back every time. Unless I do this, tip number one, when you get your text box the way that you want it, right click, set as default text box. Now, when I insert text box, hello, it looks exactly the way that I want. All right, that was tip number one. Tip number two, I'm going to insert a text box that looks like this. So it's still the same font color, font size, and um, font that I want. But do you see this extra padding? Have you ever noticed that before? It can be a pain when you're trying to line stuff up. So I'm going to right click on the text box and I'm going to scroll down to where it says format shape. Here under line and spacing options, so it's size and properties, I can click this text box and when I scroll down, do you see here where it has margins? Do you see that it's built in padding? All I have to do is click the down arrow and watch what happens to the text box when I do that. Watch, see, see how that goes down? I just make it set it all to zero. And now it looks like this. I have less space around it, it makes it so much easier to work with. Now that I've done that, again, I'm gonna go back and set it as my default text box. All right, so that's tip number two. Remove that padding around there by just clicking on the text box. I'll show you how to do it again real fast. Click on the text box, right click, format shape, so then your format shape toolbar opens up. Over here, it's really a frame over here. And I'm gonna click on the um, this icon that looks over here, size and properties, and then adjust here, right? by making all of these zero. All right, so that's tip number two. All right, tip number three. Let's say I have a text box that I want the same text box um, over and over on the slide, okay? So let's say I'm gonna have students filling in answers or something, and I wanna repeat that same text box over and over on the same slide. Normally we click Control C and then Control V or Command if you're on a Mac. And then I will line it up and then I will do it again and click Control V again. And then I try to line it up again and try to get the spacing right. And sometimes I can eyeball it pretty good. You can even like con copy them all and paste them all. So then you're doing more at one time, make it a little bit faster. But the way to do it to make sure that it looks the way that you want, lined up perfectly, spaced perfectly, without dragging around and trying to get it so microfinitesimally correct. I don't even know if that's a word. Um, instead of clicking Control C to copy, click Control D to duplicate. Control D for duplicate. Get it lined up and spaced the way that you like. And now, when I click Control D, it's gonna replicate it, not just the font, it, not just the box itself, but it's gonna duplicate the spacing and the alignment. 
what's nice about that is, let me do it on another slide. I want you to see how fast this can go. I mean, it will blow your mind. So I have this text box and I'm going to put it here. You know what? I'm going to make this font small because I want to be able to show it to you. I want to be able to show you a lot of them. Okay. So instead of control C, I'm doing control D. I'm going to get it just like I want it, the spacing and everything. And now I'm going to hold in the control key and I'm going to click D. I'm just going to hold down the D key. Look at that. Look how fast I can do that. I'm just holding in the D key. I can reproduce it so many times in just a fraction of a second. So that's my third tip. Control D instead of copy paste when you want to get it lined up and aligned perfectly and spaced. All right, you know what? I can't resist. I know I said three tips, but I can't resist a bonus tip. Let me show you one more thing because I can't help it. All right, let me make this actually shorter so it makes sense. Have you ever noticed that when you want to copy and paste something, so I'm Control-C, Control-V, or even Control-Duplicate, it's the same. I'm going to move it over here, and how do I make sure that these are lined up? Like I can peer at my grid lines that I've got and try to line them up just right, but it's difficult to eyeball that. And I can tell because if I um, – highlight both boxes you can see they're not quite lined up okay so the best way to do this if you want to get things side by side that are exactly lined up is to click hold the control key and the shift key down at the same time do you see how that box is there when that box lights up see that box there next to my cursor that says I am dragging and it will not even let me like you see I'm trying to move that cursor it won't let me it forces it to stay aligned let me delete a couple of these that I did so you can see do you see how all of these are lined up isn't that amazing it lets me do that not just with text boxes but also with shapes so control shift and drag it it won't let me do it won't let me get out of line no matter how far away i get these are going to be perfectly aligned now i know i'm talking about text boxes but let me show you that it works with shapes as well so i can do control shift and drag and again i cannot move that shape out of alignment and no matter how far across the slide i drag it it will stay in perfect alignment so control shift drag i hope that these tricks will save you a lot of time. I think as teachers, when we know a few little tricks and tips that save us microseconds here and there, it adds up to hours and hours over the course of a school year. Thanks for watching. And if you have any PowerPoint questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.